Chapter 5, The Diaries Return The morning sun cast a warm glow as Zishan was surprised to find Mali Baba standing before him, holding his lost diary. A sense of wonder filled Zishan as he questioned Mali Baba about the diary's sudden reappearance. Baba, where did you find this diary? Zishan inquired, his curiosity piqued. Mali Baba recounted how he had been tending to the garden near the gate when a stranger approached. This stranger had found the diary lying on the road and, noticing Zishan Babu's name, had promptly handed it over. Zishan's skepticism emerged as he asked, You didn't inquire further? Mali Baba responded, No, Sahib. I thanked him, and he left without asking any questions. He simply mentioned that it's good to return the diary to Zishan. Zishan contemplated the situation and pondered over the stranger's appearance. Can you describe the man's appearance and attire? He asked Gardner. Gardner recalled that the man had blinked frequently, was of shorter stature, wore pants and a shirt, and had a long red muffler around his neck. Zishan quickly grabbed his bicycle and headed out, ignoring Molly's cries of curiosity. His quest was to find this mysterious man. Lately, he had grown suspicious of everyone he encountered, fearing that they might be connected to the saboteurs. After a few rounds through the streets, he reached the main road. Zishan scanned the area, and just as he began to lose hope, he spotted a man approaching from a side street. The unexpected encounter left Zishan feeling trapped, unsure of how to react. His heart raced, but he stood his ground as the man approached him. Your name is Zishan? the man inquired. Zishan replied with a hint of humor, my diary didn't have my photo, did it? But the man remained serious, continuing to ask questions. Are you Mr. Aga's son? Zishan confirmed, yes, Mr. Aga is my father. The man explained that he found your diary and due to the address written inside. He recognized Zishan from the neighborhood and felt compelled to return it. Despite the absence of a photo, he knew it belonged to you. Grateful for the diary's return, Zishan attempted to leave on his bicycle, but the man restrained him. He wanted to discuss something important. Would you be my friend? the man asked, inviting Zishan to his house. Zishan, feeling uneasy and threatened, initially agreed, suggesting the man visit his home. However, the man expressed concern that Zishan's father, a senior officer, might not welcome his presence. Undeterred, he proposed, my house is nearby. If you visit, my younger brother, your age, would be thrilled to play with you. Zishan, eager to escape the situation, changed his mind. I have some work to attend to now. Perhaps another day, he replied. The man finally released Zishan's bicycle, and Zishan prepared to leave. However, the stranger's grip on his bicycle handle had been a mere distraction. In a sudden turn of events, a large jeep screeched to a halt nearby, and two men swiftly descended, overpowering Zishan. They muffled his cries, lifted him into the jeep, and as Zishan caught a familiar whiff of black man perfume, he lost consciousness. <laughs>